today it's your boy Jermaine from Shovel Nose Hogs back with another video and this video is going to be another showcase of a hog nose snake morph and before we get things started I want to give a disclaimer none of these pictures and none of these snakes are mine I found most of the images from Facebook as well as Morph Market and Google and I tried my best to credit the, the person that produced these animals or took the picture at the bottom um, these this is just for educational purposes I don't want any copyright violations or anything like that I'm just trying to promote the hog nose snake breed and also promote some of these breeders that produce them so now let's get down into it so the morph I'm gonna be showcasing on this video is gonna be the super conda morph so now let's get down to it for those of y'all that don't know the superconda is the super form of the anaconda gene. So it's an incomplete dominant gene and it's basically a pattern reduction. So one copy of the anaconda gene just reduces the pattern of a regular or wild type hog nose snake. And whenever you have two copies of the anaconda gene, when the snake has gets one copy from the mom, one copy from the dad, you get what's called a superconda. So basically a snake that still has his head pattern, but the rest of his body is patternless for the most part. And so now let's get down into just what a regular superconda looks like. And so you can see this is just a wild type or the normal hog nose snake with the superconda gene. So you get that brownish color. Um, and like you say, they still retain their head pattern, but the rest of their body is patternless. All right, next up, we got the albino. And as you can see from these three pictures, the albino gene, there's a lot of variation. Um, the, the two from the left as well as to the far right are basically what you'll get from a, a typical albino hog nose snake. But the one in the middle is actually a purple line albino superconda hog nose. And you can see you have more of that vibrant orange dark orange reddish color with the stripe down his back i think this is the that middle one the the purple line albino superconda in my opinion is the prettiest albino superconda that we have right now next up let's talk about adding another incomplete dominant gene which is the arctic gene and as you can see if you can remember um it pretty much lightens up the pattern a little bit it looks very similar to the normal superconda but the pattern is a little more of a light brown color as well as the head pattern I'm sorry the background is a little more of a light brown color and the head pattern is a little more light I'll go back to the original normal as you can see you can see the the head pattern is darker and then when you get to the Arctic the head pattern is a little lighter all right now we have the the super version of the arctic gene so these are examples of a super arctic super conda hog nose snake and the thing about the super arctic gene in terms of the when you combine it with the super conda is that they don't really lose all of their pattern they usually have that dorsal stripe down their back but for the most part they're patternless and this is a very pretty snake hopefully something that i can produce in the future all right, so now let's throw the albino into the Arctic. And you can see right here, very pretty snake. It looks similar to just a regular albino superconda, but like I say, that Arctic gene seems like it lightens it up a little bit, especially the background color. And here is where you have the super Arctic albino superconda, also known as the super daddy very cool looking snake and as you can see i got three different pictures and they vary a lot um, the arctic gene has a lot of variations and you can see there are various different colors of pink and as you can see most of the pattern is gone but you can still kind of see a dorsal stripe going down them even though they have the super conda gene um, the arctic typically re retains part of the pattern now we can go into the recessive genes, the single recessive genes, and this is the exanthic, um, basically removing the reds and the oranges from the snake. So you get a really cool looking snake, like a platinum kind of color, grayish color, very popular morph that's combined with the superconda. 
All right, next we have another single copy, a single recessive, and this is the, the Toffee Superconda, also known as the Candy. It looks pretty similar to the Albino um, Superconda, but has a different yellowish orange tint to it. Very pretty snake, especially when you see one in person. Then you have the Lemon Ghost. The Lemon Ghost is a dominant gene, basically a snake that gets more yellow as it ages. And this is the super condom version. I don't think a lot of people are working with this. I had a hard time finding this picture online, but I knew one of them existed. Now we have the Sable, which is probably one of my favorite morphs in hog nose snakes. So it's basically one of the darkest morphs um, other than the Swiss chocolate. But this is um, two different snakes. And they were actually produced by the same person. And you can see the variation um, in terms of the sable gene. You have the one on the left that's actually pretty dark. And then you have a lighter version of the one on the right. I actually think I like the one that's a little lighter, the one on the right the best. But this is pretty cool. I didn't realize the sables came this light until I started looking for pictures of this. So that's pretty cool. Next, you have the Lavender Superconda, very pretty snake, very expensive snake. And I think a lot more people are going to start making this snake in the future because the Lavender gene is becoming very popular. And I've seen quite a few Lavender Condas being available um, to the public. So this is a very pretty snake, basically um, a, a purple snake. It may be a little hard to see in the pictures, but... This is a snake that looks a lot better in person compared to what it looks like on pictures. Uh, next, we're going to start doing the combinations of two or more recessive genes. And this is the toxic. So the exanthic mixed with the toxic in a superconda form. And in my opinion, this is the prettiest superconda hognose snake, in my opinion, man. This is... This is just the, the way that this, the lighting, the way that this looks, to me, this is the best looking Superconda hognose snake right here. And not a lot of people have it. I've been seeing people putting up like the toxic condas or the toxics on sale, but I don't think anybody is selling the toxic Supercondas. Next, we have a pistachio, which is um, not that many, I don't think that many people are working with this recessive gene here, um, but, but they're starting to come more along in the United States. I think they were originally produced in Germany, and uh, this is a super kind of version. It looks pretty cool, man. It, it looks pretty cool. I don't think a lot of people have produced this animal right here. All right, next up is the snow super kind of, This is probably one of the most sought after superconda morphs, basically a, a white snake. So this is the exanthic mixed with the albino. And um, as you can see, man, this is, this is very popular. And to be honest with you, a lot more people are producing this animal and you actually can find them on sale now. All right, next up is gonna be the ghost superconda or the naked ghost. And this is the exanthic uh, mixed with the Evans Hypo. And you've probably seen this on one of my other videos when I went over the Exanthics. This right here is a very unique animal. This is the Ultramel Superconda. And this is the mixture of the Carmel and the Albino, which produces a really cool looking snake right here. And, and the Carmel gene actually reduces the pattern on the head. So that's a really cool looking snake. Next, we have the Muay Thai. I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's the sable mixed with the toffee. Um, on the left-hand side, you see a really good picture of it. And then on the right-hand side is actually a picture of the toffee superconda uh, to the left. And then to the right, you have the Muay Thai superconda. So you can kind of see the difference between the two. Very cool looking snake right here. Just the Muay Thai in general without even having an anaconda gene looks really cool. All right, next we have the electric, which is the albino pink pastel. I couldn't find the pink pastel by itself in super kind of form, so, but this is what I found right here. I don't, to me, I don't think a lot of people are working with the pink pastel. I, I rarely see it 
available to the public. If I do see it advertised, it's a snake that's het for pink pastel. I think the pink pastel was actually one of the first morphs that were find that were found in the hog nose snake. So I'm I'm not really sure why more people aren't working with this gene, but this is the electric. It's a pretty cool looking snake. All right, next is the sable pink pastel um, produced by Mitch Davey. And I didn't even know this animal existed until I started doing research for this video. I wish I could have put it in my sable video. But yeah, I think um, this is the only snake of its kind that I know of. And in this litter, when he produced this snake, he also produced the sable pink pastel conda. And I think both the conda and super conda forms were both worlds first. Next, we have the frosted uh, super conda. And this is a mixture of the caramel and Dutch hypo. As you can see with the caramel, it has that reduced pattern. Um, it looks kind of looks kind of weird, man, but... Um, this snake is actually available on Morph Market if you got the money to spend. I think it's like $2,000. But yeah, it's a pretty cool looking snake. I, I do like how the caramel reduces that head pattern. And that's about it, man. Those are all the super condom morphs that I could find on the internet. I'm pretty sure I missed some. Uh, let me know down in the comment section which ones are your favorite. Which which are the super conda, um combinations do you like the best in my opinion i think i still think the toxic super condas are the prettiest but like that like i said man like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all with the next video